Welcome back. It is the uh, Woman Wednesday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. Uh, wall to wall impeachment coverage, wall to wall uh, women in business, women in politics, women in the arts, activism, all that good stuff. Um, but uh, one of my favorites, Maureen Callahan, joins us again. She's a uh, New York Post reporter. She shuns social media because she likes her platform. Uh, you know, you took a pretty hard run at Michelle Obama's book and the selling of Michelle Obama. Well, what do you think is happening? Well, this book, uh, she has a new book out that has not received as nearly as much attention as her, as her first book did. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and this book is sort of more of a craven cash grab than we've seen before. It is marketed as a guided journal, uh, which was something I didn't really know existed, but apparently it means that the journal has little prompts on each page to spur self-reflection. And um, the high-mindedness with which this is being sold really runs counter to the content within, which uh, mainly asks you, the would-be uh, journaler, to make lists of things such as your top 10 favorite vegetables. Oh, so it's like a homework book Michelle Obama gave For you. small children. Oh, for small yeah. children, okay. Yeah. Um, wasn't I think Michelle Obama the one who said when they go low, we, we go, go high. We, we go high or something mm -hmm. like that. I think Buy the T-shirt, really, 35 bucks. Yeah, there you, yeah, go. There you go. The book, for, which is $20, mm -hmm. uh, is called Becoming, A Guided Journal for Discovering Your Voice. And after reading your column, where you know includes some of the gems that are in this book, like, do you have any favorite quotes? Capture them here. And you're supposed to write down the quotes that you like. And what, are you, what are you paying her $20 for? What is this, an um, adult coloring book? Well, no, it reminded me of, I don't know if you guys watch Family Guy, Brian book, Wish It, Want It, Do It, where you write out your wishes in the book, and he got on and sold this as a real, as a real book. But sh isn't the joke on us or anyone that wants to buy this book, why shouldn't Michelle Obama try to make a couple of bucks? Yeah, you know, you're fair enough, and I, I was talking to a friend of mine in publishing about this, and she said, you know, it's probably like the publisher said there's a lot more money to be made here, like, let's just do this, why not? And you can see it, but I think if you're going to posit yourself and your and your, and your husband as standard bearers of the Democratic Party, which right now is running on income inequality and the vilification of billionaires, it's a bit hypocritical to be going out hat in hand with a subpar product to the women of America and saying, "Give me yet another twenty dollars." Yeah, because yeah. I'm Barack Obama's wife, basically. Well, she's a star in her I, own right. I know, right. but you I don't know what, she's, what are her great accomplishments in life that I want to read her book. We don't, you don't need to have accomplishments in life anymore. Oh, you know, I will say well, she, I, I, think, shot then. I think she was a fantastic first lady yes, who, who was up against that. the Absolutely. wall. I agree you know, with you on that. Unprecedented. I agree with you on that. Perfect. But I don't know about that perfect. said, you don't really need much uh, to, to uh, have a platform a such as this. Right about, exactly. Just, just to come back to the prior point that you and John were discussing, the issue of big tech domination of our lives. And uh, sometimes, I think one of your columns on Amazon, I actually just read verbatim, almost word for word, and I think I threw your name in at some point, so oh, it didn't thanks. feel like direct plagiarism, <laughs> but I passed on your column as an, kind of my own monologue, and it was the best, best monologue oh, I ever thanks. did. But, um, you were talking about big tech and the domination they have over our lives, mm -hmm. and this is one of the things I find very attractive about Elizabeth Warren's candidacy, mm -hmm. is she's actually willing to break up big tech. Mm -hmm. um, tell folks at home, who's a very financially oriented audience, what kind of taxes do these big tech companies pay to Uncle Sam? Oh, they pay next to nothing. And in the case of Amazon, in 2018, they paid zero dollars. Zero! On 11 billion in revenue. Ah, so if you paid a dollar in taxes last year, Congratulations, you paid more, more in taxes than, than the company owned by one of the world's richest men. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nice. uh, it goes into what you were talking about before. They go into all these municipalities and they hang this carrot out there that we may open some place here. Mm -hmm. um, as part of it, they negotiate all these sweetheart mm -hmm. tax incentives. Uh, that one bit of breaking news here, and we'll bring you an update on this throughout the program. Uh, Prince Andrew is stepping down from his royal duties in light of the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. So, not sure what he was actually doing. As yeah. Monarch, done anything except but allegedly grow down. kids and fly around the world hanging out with child This molesters. is big. What has he done? This is What's his actual job? Yeah. I'm stepping down from my royal duties of doing nothing. What is it? Wait what is the, excellent point. What does the Duke I, I, do? I will not be satisfied <laughs> until there's an FBI in full, full on investigation. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I want to thank Maureen Callahan for joining us.
I took a picture of her shoes because she always wears the hottest shoes. She's got the gold Gucci's on. And you got to tune in on Saturday at 5 p.m. for the best shots of liquid lunch. It's all the stuff you missed during the week. It's on on Saturday now at 5 o'clock, followed by Michelle Malkin at 6 o'clock, and then the Grand Poopa, Bill O'Reilly, at 7 o'clock, all right here on Newsmax TV. And you can see Maureen Shoes also. Maureen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank You're you bomb. so much. Thank you for joining us, but don't go anywhere yet. We're going to mix it up with John Burnett and David Eisenbach, and then we're going to have... Uh, Joe Salvani from JS, JFS Investments. We're going to be talking about health care, public policy, uh, and all the other great things Donald Trump can do to uh, lower the cost of health care and prescriptions. We're coming back right after this. Mm -hmm.